Okay, here we are in Tonga Place. I don't know whether you can hear me. There's a lot of work going on behind us in Union Place, I think it's called. And that is the, um, the new sets of restaurants and things that are going in. And look behind me, we've got the brand new council building. Because usually when councils are in charge of um, building new CBDs, they take care of themselves first. Which is kind of okay because they've sold all of the um, old crappy buildings to the health department. So there's going to be a whole lot of new infrastructure there. But, um, pretty amazing down here. Yep. Come around. This area is absolutely huge. Um, kind of hard to tell, but let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. That's probably about the limit of it. But um, the area is massive, so let's go for a walk. trying to keep you out of the sun because this like I said the sun is at that that crazy level but it's just so clean um, there's usually really good security down here because that's one of the issues that plagued Ipswich for so long many many years ago I'm glad to say but that period is pretty much long gone. Look at this. Now, if we would have been here a week ago, there would have been lots of markets in here and stalls and things. So usually once or twice a month, the um, council put on uh, some markets, whether they be farmers markets in the morning or eat street type markets at night. But um, really good kids play area with water streaming down, you can just turn that on, press the button on the ground. But I would say that this area down here is like four or five acres, kind of hard to tell on a camera, but um, really, really good. Let's see what they're doing over in the old part, because Ipswich is kind of well known for its history. And you might be thinking, well, this, this doesn't look very historic. Sometimes you have to have a blend of history and functionality. And I think um, if you've got a thousand office workers or however many there are, you have to have a fair bit of functionality. Hence the size of this massive, massive building. Okay. library just behind me but um, this away they're actually usually um, when malls were built in the 1980s they um, they didn't think them out very well and you couldn't get a, a car anywhere near it and so we've learned from that I think I've worked on about four different um, council projects in Queensland and every time anyone suggested the word mall, thankfully um, people balked at that idea because malls were a thing of the 70s and 80s that just didn't work. Um, you, you really do need um, car access into, into malls uh, and parking access and I think there's a car park underneath me and it's probably three levels deep and four acres uh, so there's plenty of car parks underneath but there's also that that um, much needed access um, via that road um, and that will that will feed into all of the restaurants and so on because all along each side there's going to be new shops and new restaurants 
and um, a really good entrance to the train station. And I, I'm the first to admit that I've never been on a train here in Ipswich and that's probably a good thing. I've heard that the train station is absolutely terrible and it's in need of an upgrade. I believe that um, Queensland Rail are upgrading all of the stations for accessibility. Um, so let's hope that Ipswich is one of those ones that is upgraded for accessibility and pretty much bulldozed to the ground because it's, it's pretty bad, I've heard. So yeah, we were talking about history and you probably can't see much of it here. There was a fire in the 1980s and one of the major shopping areas called Reed's, it was a department store, it burnt to the ground. And most people from Ipswich will tell you that that's the day that the, that the spirit died in Ipswich because it never really fully recovered. But wow, let's see what they're rebuilding down here. Old hotel called the Commonwealth Hotel. And I'll just spin around and let's see how they're doing with it. Okay. We might walk around the back of it, as I believe you can. doing out the back here and I dare say that'll be turned into some sort of a restaurant precinct and it's so good I know that it would have cost a ridiculous amount of money to fix that but I'm really glad that they retained that Not sure what they're putting in there, but just behind those trees we've got the Bremer River, uh, which is the one that floods at times, and over the road we've got a massive um, shopping centre that's probably been there a bit over 10 years now I think, it's called Riverlink, and um, it's actually pretty good. Uh, there's, you know, the shops in there are no great shakes, but they they meet the needs of, of what people buy in Ipswich. Yeah, really pleased with that level of detail that they've gone to. Just turn around here. Look at the timber. Look at the fretwork. I promise I'll get better with this gimbal. First time for everything, hey. But it's great to hear the workmen on site at um, you know 4:30 or whatever it is on a uh, Saturday afternoon, and pretty much a long weekend. So I think they're really trying to pull out all the stops and get everything done. telling you about that road before and um, something that we still have an element of here is people driving sort of hoon cars at night um, what they've done cleverly is that they've put um, car bollards up that go up and down automatically at, at will so those bollards go up I believe at about six o'clock every night so you know, in the early hours of the morning, people won't be able to drive down here and do burnouts and that sort of thing. So, just where these, um, these white boards are here, there's new restaurants going in here. So I dare say that all of the construction for that is already happening behind those white boards. Um, 
and soon, like mid-year, we'll be able to sit in there and um, no, it won't be, won't be too hot, won't be very cold, it'll be perfect um, and it'll be just a great place to, to sit. Ipswich has about 215,000 people and it's spread over a thousand square kilometres so it's pretty, pretty spread out. But the, the central business district where we are is really quite small. Um, so it'll be really interesting to see what sort of shops and um, particularly restaurants uh, that go in there. But I think the council have got it right um, in looking at security, looking at um, accessibility. Like I just parked under there now, it's free parking all weekend. So every, each and every weekend, you know, until the end of time, hopefully, it'll just be free for anyone to go and park down there and come up the top and enjoy all of what is to offer. See the bollards in the middle of the road? So they, um, they electronically, they electronically come up and down at night. So that's really good. But can you see the, sh the sheer magnitude of what they've done here? A lot of these shops really suffered, like incredibly, to the point that most of them shut down. Um, luckily, you know, people with a bit of forethought and um, a bit of determination stuck with it. I don't know how they did it, but um, I'm really glad that they did because whenever there's an event on here and these shops are open, the people are like five deep within the shop, so it's really a great thing to see. And when uh, the office workers start to move into the large council building, I think, I think they've started to move in now, you've got you know, hundreds, if not a thousand people looking for somewhere to eat, looking for something to do at lunch, and thinking, hey, I work in this area and it's pretty good. I wouldn't mind living near here because everything, everything is here. You know, it took me 90 seconds, I think, to drive from my house down to here. So, and we're on a really large allotment or block. It's a quarter of an acre. So, it's, um, I'm glad that we did it. Yeah, they are really demolishing that building. That is awesome. That is one ugly building, I can tell you. I'm not sure what it was before that, but it wasn't anything good, I can tell you. All right, so that's our little tour of um, around my yard at this sunny, sunny part of the day where it's in your eyes but um, I'm really glad that I live here it's, it's one of the best things I've ever done and literally we have moved back to the same street that we lived in so you would think that there's something going for it um, when you move away come back you know nearly 20 no 15 years later and uh, the whole landscape has changed Okay, that's it. Signing off for now.